Oh my god, what oh, is it? amazing. This glass oh, that looks so it. shiny. Oh, look at that. It glass looks so nice. It's unbelievable. It looks like it's almost about to brace this glass. Oh. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gal Barzilai, I'm a product designer and today I like to show you two simple ways to create glass morphism effect in Figma. But first, let's talk about what is glass morphism effect. Simply put, glass morphism is a glass effect you can apply on any shape that is on top of colorful background. And that's the key here. The one rule you have to remember is that you only see this effect work once you introduce color in the background of it. I really like to use this effect when I have information I need to present in my UI that it's on top of colorful background. Just like the example you can see here. I have this beautiful colorful background with this squid game illustration and I like to apply some information, elements or text on top of it. I don't want to cover this illustration, so applying a glass effect on top of it will really match this information on top of the background nicely. By the way, if you like to see how I created this Squid Game app, I'll link the video up here or down below. Now, I like to show you two ways to create this glass morphism effect. The first one is completely custom, we'll create this effect from scratch. And the second way is using a plugin called Murph, which you can download free from the Figma community. And it's really nice, you can create this effect with one click. So let's start with the first way, which is really simple as well. Okay, so what you're seeing on my screen is Figma, but you can actually follow along and do all the same stuff on any UI design software like Adobe XD or Sketch. Okay, so what I did, I've duplicated the onboarding screen and I've deleted all the elements except the illustration and the title uh, above. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click R on my keyboard and I'm gonna draw a rectangle, just like that. Put it down a bit. Let's round the corners to around 38. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on my rectangle and I'm gonna go to fill and I'm gonna give it a white color. Now I'm gonna take the white color and I'm gonna bring down the opacity all the way down to around 16. So you see that our a rectangle is clear but we still don't have that glossy effect. Now I'm gonna add an, a stroke to this shape and I'm gonna give it a linear color from the upper left corner all the way to the down right corner. I'm gonna change the color from black to white also on the bottom and I'm also gonna play with the opacity. I'm gonna bring this one down all the way to 16 and the second one I'm gonna bring all the way down to 4%. So it's very very subtle stroke and that helps to enhance that glossy effect. And now for the magic part. So I'm gonna add an effect to my rectangle and instead of drop shadow I'm gonna choose background blur and that's gonna add a really subtle blur effect on top of our illustrations. But let's click on the icon and let's increase the blur, I think to around, let's say 20, maybe 24 looks good, okay? So already we have this really nice glossy effect. And if you see, if I drag this on top of my illustration, we can actually see the glass effect works very, very, very nicely. And now all we have left is to add the other elements. So we can click T on the keyboard and write down our title. Join your friends. And we can add it on top of our glassy background. Now let's take this onboarding frame and duplicate it by clicking on Command D. And let's erase the, the title and the glass effect. And now I wanna show you the second way using the Murph plugin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a rectangle again by clicking R on my keyboard and dragging a new shape. And let's align it. Let's round the corners again to around 30, 38. Now check this out. If you right click with the mouse, we're going all the way down to plugins and we're gonna go to Murph plugin. And we have many options here, but we're gonna choose glassy effect. Now that's gonna create a, a shape 
a separate shape and we can take that shape and drag it into our frame and you can already see that we have this little glassy effect we can delete the other shape and let's put it down here and now take a look you can uh, play with the blurriness of the shape so we can drag make it more blur or less blur and we can play with the opacity of the shape and you can even play with the edge surface if that's something you really like and when you're done customizing it all you have to do is click on apply and that's it you have your glassy effect on the shape that we created with only one click now of course if you want to add a border to it just like we did before we you can still do that you select your shape you add a stroke we can make it again linear from side to side let's make the color let's make it let's make the color white let's make the color from 16 opacity white to 4 opacity white and that's it we're done okay guys that's it for today's tutorial don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out follow my work on instagram and as always i'll see you in the next video bye